ever wondered about the secret behind those lush, thriving gardens? Well, it often comes down to mastering the art of plant cutting or propagation. Today, we'll delve into the world of plant cutting techniques, revealing the steps to success for each one. Firstly, there's stem cutting, a method that's as straightforward as it sounds. Choose a healthy stem of about four to six inches long, ideally with a few leaves at the top. Make a clean cut below a node. That's the point where leaves or buds sprout. Remove the lower leaves, dip the cut end in rooting hormone and voila. You're ready to plant it in a pot filled with a mix of perlite and peat moss. Keep the soil moist and soon enough, you'll see new growth. Next in line is root cutting. In late winter, when the plant is dormant, carefully dig up the plant and cut off a section of root. Select roots that are about the thickness of a pencil. Cut the root into pieces, each about two to four inches long. Plant these pieces horizontally in compost, making sure to keep them warm and humid. Come spring, you'll have a bunch of new plants. Leaf cutting is another technique, particularly effective with succulents and houseplants. Simply cut a leaf from the plant, let it dry for a day or two, then plant it in a potting mix. The key here is patience. It might take a few weeks to see new roots and growth. Bud cutting or shield budding is a more advanced technique, typically used for fruit trees and roses. Here, a bud is cut from one plant and inserted under the bark of another. It's a delicate process, requiring a sharp knife and a steady hand. The reward? A new plant with the same traits as the parent. Lastly, we have layering, a technique where a branch is bent to the ground and covered with soil while still attached to the parent plant. Over time, the covered section develops roots and can be cut away to become a separate plant. To recap, the world of plant cutting is diverse and fascinating. Stem cutting is a simple, effective technique for many plants. Root cutting is perfect for late winter propagation. Leaf cutting works wonders with succulents and houseplants. Bud cutting or shield budding is an advanced technique for specific plants like fruit trees and roses. And lastly, layering is a natural method that allows a branch to root while still connected to the parent plant. Each technique has its nuances, but they all share a common goal to create healthy, thriving plants. So why not give them a try? With a little practice and patience, you might just discover your green thumb. Happy gardening!